Guys, I'm Steve and this is Carlota. We're from NextPack and Carlota is one of our electrical engineers. I'm not the most technical guy, so I'm hoping that today uh, Carlota can explain to me our new developer kit, which is for sale on our eShop. And this is also the kit that we give to developers at our upcoming hackathons, where they work to bring us all very new shiny modules. So Carlota, could you please explain to me what's going on with this kit? Yes, yeah, sure. Uh, so this is our developer kit, and it's got uh, an XPack developer board with the same hardware uh, as uh, an XPack case. Also, some NextPack modules. There's two different kinds of models in this box. Uh, a couple of them just for developers, and then this is three examples on our existing models. Okay, I recognize them. Flashlight, temperature, yeah. and humidity models. Okay, so how would I use this all to create all these things I see here? We got this little red board. I have no <laughs> idea. This is a launch yeah. pad. I, this is a flash programmer. Contents. We have an LED screen mm -hmm. and um, something some that looks like a. Sensor. 1980s robot, <laughs> if you put them together. So we have all these tools in the kit. How do I actually use these to assemble my own module from scratch? Okay, you've got jumpers and wires and a breadboard. So you can just take the sensor you like, and for instance, ultrasonic sensor, okay. and program the function, put it in the breadboard, and with other, we provide also resistors, okay. capacitors, and you need to, to program uh, one of both MSP module or breakout module okay. using the, the launch pad in this case. Okay. And just plug it in the, into the Just plug developers. it into the developer board. Yeah. You make it sound so simple. It is. We have some already some examples. I heard you have a, uh, a demonstration for us. Yeah, I do. This is a demonstration on the MSP. Module. So here I've got like two LEDs okay. and a uh, potentiometer, mm -hmm. and I, I did a really short application on how to light these two LEDs and get the value and the potentiometer. Cool. So I will first plug in the developer's board. Oh, no. Yeah, and I need to open app for this is an app for developers. Okay. So I plug in the module. Detect my board. Okay. And here, this is the MSP. Okay. Wow. And we can just change the. The. So just turn the lights on and off. Yes, yeah, and get the different values on the potentiometer. So, so this looks like something that, if I'm a complete beginner, which I absolutely am, um, I could use this to build my own module. Or if I if I wanted to get into hardware development, uh, like this is something I could use. Write this documentation for me to learn from. Yeah, we have a developer's guide and also we include some examples. This is uh, one of our examples on how to communicate software and hardware. Okay. It's a really uh, good starting for even beginners or advanced or because it's, it's got the main functions to make the communication with our board, phone and modules. So it's a, a really good start. Okay, so theoretically too, from this kit, uh, if I had an idea for a module, I could order it, put it together and then this could be on the eShop and make me... Lots and lots yeah, of money. maybe then it could end like a really small, tiny <laughs> module here. This could be yours on our eShop. This could be you, all from this kit. Well, we have this. E we have the developers kit now on our eShop, nextpack.com/shop. Also, if you want to check out nextpack.com/hackathon, you could potentially join one of our up-and-coming hackathons. Join a team and work tirelessly over Red Bull and pizza to bring the world new modules. So, thank you very much, Carlota. Welcome.